Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you all on my channel Medical Perks. So in this video I'm going to tell you about some OSPI guidelines. So let's get started. So firstly, what should be a strategy about microscopic slides and practical notebooks? So let's look into these points. Microscopic slides. So prepare them well. And tricks are remembering shapes or some unique characteristic features. Um, now you guys might be thinking that I had a shape for this thing. So this is the thing that Vishak came to a centralized OSP and the questions are coming from the exam. And the slides are also saying that they have to keep them. So mostly this is the thing that colleges keep their slides. So you will do this in internal exams. Like we used to do this. If we don't have to identify the slide from the inside, then we will see it from the bottom. If we have to keep the shape of the shape, then we will do it. Like I still remember, कि मेरे टाइम पे मैंने लिवर को हमारा जो कॉलेज की साइड थी ना उसमें वो ट्राइंगुलर शेप था तो मैंने उसको इजीली आईडेंटिफाई कर लिया था अपने टाइम पे जब वो आया था लिवर इंटरनल एग्जाम में कभी भी कि ये ट्राइंगुलर शेप है तो लिवर ही होगा और हर और शेप से इतनी कंफ्यूज होती भी नहीं है क्योंकि हर ब्लॉक की कुछ ही so you can see the shapes in the real exam time and just because these slides are solid marks so you can prepare them so that you will get the 55 number now coming towards practical notebook so you can prepare them so you can see the practical notebook questions and the concept series and the questions you can see and you can see the respective session and you can see it so you can see it so you can see it so you can see it Moving towards diagrams, so prepare them related to your respective block from any atlas of your choice. Atlas can be done with nature, you can do it with grace, and if you use the graph snails of anatomy book, you can prepare it with your block and anatomy chapters, but you can do it with the labeling, so that when you have the diagrams of the respective station, then you can do it with the labeling. And you will know that you have more diagrams in your college, so you will be able to prepare that book. But you will know that you have to label which organ you have to label, which structure you have to label, and all that things. Now, what is the meaning of moving towards Viva Station? So, it's about good grip. So, as you guys have just prepared the books for your final prof exams, so don't get stressed out, okay? And revision, revise important things only. In the life, but you don't have time that you can see every topic at that time. And in the last time, it's a short time that you have to do it. So, you don't have time that you have to do it. Just important things you have to revise. And you can do it with the book. And now, like you have given the exam, so you don't have any big problem. You have to ask something from the book, you don't have to ask something from the book, you don't have to ask something from the book, and then the main concepts you have to ask from the book. Now coming towards block A or C and here you can see the viva stations distributed among the subjects also you can pause my video to see it. Now coming towards the subject embryology so you should be knowing about the weak wise development in the processes like chemotogenesis, new relation etc and other major ones which are included in your block A. Now talking about physiology, so you should be having a good grip on the clotting factors chapter, the clotting factors names with numbers, and in my time I was asked about HP values, metacrit, etc. from the practical notebook. So you should be knowing some certain important things from your practical notebook as well. Now talking about the subject biochemistry, so you should know the classification with examples of proteins, amino acids, carbohydrates and in experiments your practical performance matters a lot plus the result color detection and certain specific values in the whole experiment because sometimes it happens to you are performing karate but you have to push it in just a specific person or the other patient they have to push it like what will happen or result color will tell you any important value so you should know these things now talking about the subject anatomy so you should have a good grip on BD Charasia short book which you guys have been using throughout your block A 
and its first chapter is important plus the chapter is related to bones muscles etc and sometimes examiners also ask you about lymphoid organs to name few of them now talking about the subject histology so you should be knowing about the epithelium its different types and its location in your whole body okay now talking about block b here is its distribution given by kim you you can have a look at it now talking about the subject biochemistry so you should know the proteins its classification structure examples and now talking about the vitamins and minerals chapters so their toxicity and deficiency conditions are important and if there are any duplicate names like vitamin c is also known as ascorbic acid etc so you should be knowing about these things now for physiology you should know about the mechanisms like sliding filament theory acetylcholine action potential etc examiners ask you about these common things for anatomy you should be knowing about the clinicals and if certain specific structure is damaged then which nerve gets injured uh, or damaged and the upper and lower limb clinicals are very important and you can also watch them from my youtube videos on the link provided above the diagram labeling is also important plus the muscle action now for embryology you should know about the somites and the derivatives so these were some important things for block b now let's move on towards block c let's look at the distribution given by kmu for biochemistry the enzyme classification isoenzymes ldh etc and also your experiment performance is important especially of abnormal urine for phys anatomy the diaphragm topic is important its nerve supply etc respiratory segments diaphragm opening valves and structures passing through them these things are important for physiology the examiners usually ask you about the basic things and concepts related to heart the cardiac output cardiac cycle etc respiration main concepts respiratory diseases ecg apparatus name they just ask you about telling speed difference between segment and interval for embryology i was asked about primary and secondary heart beats and also pharyngeal arches are important for histology the epithelium lining are important and for it i have also shown you a picture you can have a look at it i hope my video helped you in understanding the ospi guidelines thank you so much for watching my video subscribe my channel and share my videos with your friends and also don't forget to watch the videos of upper and lower limb clinicals before you block the ospi love you take care